so good that that still works, even though it looks like the flesh has been ripped off, which I believe is what it actually re- you know what? Okay. Uh oh. That was really lucky for us. Mary came in here. These are very big shields. We should be very worried about ourselves. Wait, so does that mean we're one of the ancients that got woken up? That's a a music a musical instrument we already been in here okay. I'm gonna take this hand with us this is ours now all right I hear something in there we don't want to go in there a leer? Oh, that's what they actually look like. Okay. Okay, I can't get in there. The worst they can do is kill you in a brutal fashion. I mean, we just saw the ways they can do it. Let's hit the save just in case. This definitely makes me want to know more about it. I'm thinking the tree there that is is they mentioned the roots must have been is there's Idrisil, isn't there another tree or something? There's gotta be something in here, I sense. Better I just went in a circle, which is very much possible. A map would be amazing. But you don't get a map. Fuck you. Oh, it plays music. That's cool. Only one tree, I believe. So, yeah, no, you, no one's gonna get mad in here if you spell it wrong. Don't even worry. Actually, if Mocha was in here... This oh, shit! No! I need a weapon. Oh, no! They come through the doors. Oh, crap. Can I just go through that door, please? No. something losing its mind over there? Oh wait, it only senses us when we're using our thing, doesn't it? Oh shit! I'm going up here! You can't climb! a weapon. We have a hand. We can slap it. This is the kind of game you can never play. Um, grab a shield and protect your ass. I like how everyone's pointing out the things that could actually help us. Okay, where am I supposed to go? I think I'm going in a I'm kind of glad I just put it on seer mode. Can you imagine if I had put this game on any harder? Because I just want to see the story of this game now. Why do I keep going in I need to get past this area. Nee, 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 nee. 
Oh, the controls. It's the weirdest button to crouch. might be doors behind me? I can't move this one. There's no way. Does that guy reset back over here? Seems like they only respond when I really use my thing. Stop bringing me stay. So there's something I'm missing. How did I originally come in here? Figure out how I originally came into this area that might help. Miko, it's okay, Snuggles. many scrubbing pads in here. Okay. That's a really big dog. Yeah. It is. We'll be safe, right? Oh. Off, you just kind of invaded their areas. If safe means dead, then sure. I'm sure we're gonna be absolutely safe. Yeah, no, this seems like a place I want to go. I'm going to guess it that this is Igrisil. Just because of them mentioning that it's roots. Although it looks like a very infested Igrisil. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, this seems... You guys want to go into the really glowy, weird hole? You, get, you guys want to do this? Y you think this is safe, right? I like that I looked over and the first thing I saw was Shadow going, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. This looks, this looks like it's going to be utterly safe for us. Y'all ready to die? Well, 
Bug it, let's go. game set in Midgard. Uh, it seems like, yeah, it starts out in Midgard, but they were talking about, because I know you just arrived, uh, they talked about some of the other, the fuck was that? Did they have a human leg? Oh no, yeah, no, I could use Kratos right now, or at least his axe, and his chain thingies. I don't like spiders as it is. I really, really don't like spiders can do that sound. Don't even start me. You want to play that? We're not on Midgard anymore. That's not Midgard! Oh, shit! I can't run! <laughs> Hi! No! Six! Shit, what am I doing? Come on. Just a little bit further. Was that the thing? I like the design work, by the way, in this game. Five seconds late. The demons would have torn you apart. The great Odin spared your life, but left you broken. But that's okay, because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. <sighs> Remarkable, isn't it? What? No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, let's see here. Speech should be fine. I prepared the tissue. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. And the arm. How does it feel? Strange feeling, you think? When it's bonding to you. Uh, I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> anyway, I have much to prepare. You rest for now. Okay. I have much of a choice. Henrik, look at her. It's Alice. The injuries she suffered and survived. It's, it's not human. That doesn't mean she's not. Who are you? <coughs> By Odin. My, she, my voice. She even sounds like... Yes. Yes. Uh, I fixed your voice. And your arm. Who are you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Anderson, the CEO of Borkorp. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's up on the surface, Ralph. Unfortunately. You and I are stuck down here. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Jangraper. You brought uh, a hand with you. Used Jangraper to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Now try it. Scan the hand on the table, and then use it downstairs, on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask, but we're not taking this lightly. Please, I'll tell you more as you go. 
Like I have much of a choice here. Give me a second, guys. This is a good game. I am thoroughly enjoying this game. What about you guys? Seems like everyone's having a lot it's of fun right with it. There. We might do more of this, because I'm Static. really enjoying this. Now I have a weapon. Although it looks like if you punch something with it, it's gonna destroy it real quickly. Uh. Yay? What do you want me to do with this? Okay. So you think we were in Niflheim? I mean, yeah, that would probably make some sense. Uh, earthquakes are getting far too frequent. The roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. I'll show you all the things you need to know. I kind of want to play their other horror game too now, once we finish this. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Ahead of you is your first obstacle. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, young Draper can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. But first, you need power. You should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room. I just look at the words, the subtitles come up, and all I can think is there's no way in hell I'd be able to say most of these words. <clears throat> that right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Insert it in the arm, get back to the service hatch, and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. And don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the wall before you move on. Again, some of the if controls are a little wonky. For young Graper, you can activate the weapon inside it. There we go. See, I'm not commentating much because I'm actually really just kind of zoning out. Ahead and this. above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with young Graper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it, and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Oh, that's cool. So we're not going to talk about that big old puppy dog, are we? Since yeah, she lost her arm. You missed that. Atrium power cells, your life might be depending on not running out. And there is another, larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. Okay. So we gotta go keep looking. Appears to be Thor's Iron Gauntlet. Huh. So we do have some people in here that know a little bit about Nordic mythology. That'll make this useful when we continue to play. Ahead of you, you will find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. Use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. Oh, screw you. Undid it! Okay. It actually sounds like there's water above me. Ah, 
actually a pretty solid little game. I definitely want to do more of this. No, I just have a sight about the realms popped up. You I'm talking about free Wendy, but you cheated. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm Bad boy. Where were we? Right. Uh, our world, Midgard, is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil, the world tree. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absol, controller of the roots of Yggdrasil. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. The spirit. It took control of the Absolov and our systems, causing an emergency override. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys, originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. But, Henrik has traveled too much unprotected. He almost died when he saved you, and wouldn't survive going through another route. You are literally our only hope of stopping this. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will- Sarah. Wait, Henrik, I'm losing connection again. Sarah? Shit. Listen, we know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Every moment, the roots spread further into Midgard, so find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Please, hurry! Oh, now we know that. Aha! That's gonna get annoying real fast. My question is, where were we before because of that robot? So that gives me a lot of questions on where we were before. So we weren't on Niflheim because we're heading to Niflheim now. Could we have been in Hell? Oh well, no, Hellheim. So yeah, they did say we were in Hellheim. Heim must mean realm, right? Because Hel, Helheim, Niflheim. The only one that doesn't seem to have that is um, Earth. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm sorry. Hello. Midgard and Asgard. So those are the only two that don't seem to have the Heim in it, right? Heim would be close to home. So Hel home, Niffel, which I don't know what Niffel means, Niffel would be home. So, okay. Again, Moko speaks it better. Homeworld. Okay. So the Nordic were writing comic books before most other people were. And sci-fi before most others were. We need to get the third one. Probably go to three o'clock and then I'll call the stream and take a bit of a break. Can't even access them. Oh, the runes, where does the power behind them come from? Magic. Pretty much a lot of Old Norse are root words of English. Huh. Me. I definitely want to do more of this game.
Ryan Roderick, Niflheim Operations Supervisor. Minor progress report on Niflheim Outpost N502. Construction is moving along according to schedule. Procedures after the complete destruction of N498 are implemented and seems to be working. Building is strictly held to crevices. The amount of noise is held to a minimum and outposts are working 24-7 to avoid the attention of the natives. However, the morale is very strained after the 48 casualties at N498. Worst of all are the sounds of the natives. It travels for miles through the infinite night and fog in this dead landscape. It just chills you to the core. Weren't they fairies in, um... Weren't they like fairy creatures in God of War? Which this makes me want to play God at War again. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. In Alfheim? Oh, they were in Alfheim, not Niflheim? Who was it in Nifl What were the creatures in Niflheim then? And those were elves and dark elves. Well, at least I'm learning my Nordic stuff now. You know it was in Niflheim. I'm trying to remember what was in Niflheim. That sounds so friendly, doesn't it? Well, it wouldn't be the Jutin, would it? You never went to Niflheim? Oh, so that was the... It was one of the challenge realms. Oh, that would explain it. I thought Niflheim was one of the ones we went. It's been a while since we did God of War, so forgive me. Damn good game, though. Very solid. I'd probably play it again. I might do it again at some point. other outposts and your thought was to create another one. So it's just closing up the world and never going back in. Yep. There sounds like there's something mad at us. The rune you keep seeing on the doors appears to this appears to be the Saxon rune of the god in Inguas? Hopefully I said that right. But the runes for ice down the middle. So what is that the god of? Who is Inguav? Inguav? Inguav. I guess that's how you say it. What is he the god of exactly?
What's that? I didn't cover my house. It'd be so much better if I understood a lot of that. This game is called... Is it not in the chat thing? It should be. It's called Absolov. 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 The god Freya. Wasn't Freya female though? Oh good, so you mean goddess. Spell for protection and luck. Oh. Sounds like there's somebody still here. Okay, be right there. No, I'll come and get it. Don't worry. Not fine, too. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take a break. Uh, actually, we're getting to 2.30, so... Uh, yeah, we'll go a little longer, then I'll take my... Okay. That's a thing. Right. That was a cheap jump scare. The developers should be ashamed of themselves. So we'll do a little MMO, MMO tonight, and then how do you guys feel about playing this later tonight? Because it's a horror game. Does anyone else feel the rule that horror games need to be played at night should be uh, held accountable in this game? Do we do it? Do we do this game later tonight? I just need to hit a save point. Oh, now I don't need to. Yes. Ruins make me kill me. No too scary. <laughs> that is my bad. I keep doing that on per I keep doing that on accident. Only certain doors, okay. Just gotta get to a save point. So yeah, we'll do some DC or super or then uh, some of this tonight. I can hear somebody at the door here. Oh, a collectible. Fine. Oh, there we go. That's gonna make my job easier. So yeah, I didn't expect for us to get completely into a game. Do a new game. I really didn't actually expect that. I've been trying to avoid it, but I guess there's really no avoiding it. So let's see. Where was that save point we saw? Right there, perfect. So yeah, we'll be doing more of this later tonight, because this is fun. Thank you guys for joining me for today's stream, and I'll see you guys later tonight. Bye, everybody.